Performing at an elite level requires the systems in your body to work effectively and at their highest capacity. How do these systems work together to make a player like Robert Thomas so good at what he does? Let's find out from the pros at Barnes Jewish Hospital and Washington University Physicians. This is the science of St. Louis Blues hockey. Robert Thomas analyzes what he sees, and then his body needs to react. How are the brain's instructions transmitted to the body? So in the case of a hockey player, one of the most important hormones is adrenaline. It's the hormone that turns everything on. So as soon as they see the puck, they transmit that information to the brain, which will then send signals to the adrenal glands, which secrete adrenaline. Adrenaline goes into the bloodstream and then targets all the important body systems for exercise to give an optimal response and amp up the efforts to do what's needed in that intense exercise moment. There's a lot going on here. How fast does all of this happen? It sounds like this is taking a long time, but the body's response to adrenaline happens in milliseconds. It's shorter for an athlete because they have this practice and they've developed these kind of faster circuits that are more automated. So Robert is supercharged with adrenaline. The blood is pumping. What happens next? So there are different muscle groups, what we call slow twitch and fast twitch. So the slow twitch muscle groups, that's kind of the marathon runner of the body. The fast twitch muscle groups are really the sprinter of the body, and that generates a higher force, much quicker, and it's really a coordination of both of those muscle groups that allows athletes to keep competing. By practicing physical skills over and over, players encode this ability in the brain and learn how to do these automatically without conscious thought. This process is sometimes called muscle or motor memory. So muscle memory has to do with how you coordinate specific movements, everything from skating to shooting. And so muscle memory really just directs things, but it's the energy, the muscles that are driving things under that direction. Wow, these guys work really hard on the ice. Their endurance must be incredible. Part of the level of endurance that professional athletes have is that they're training both for a longer period of time and a much higher intensity. This means his anaerobic threshold, the point where we feel the burn in our muscles, occurs only at much higher intensities. This enables both speed and power with minimal constraint. And that has to be another huge rush of adrenaline when they score a goal. So it's all a nearly automatic response to sort of ramp up when it needs to and then almost as quickly calm back down. If you're a well-trained athlete, as they reach more intense exertion, you'll actually have a higher adrenaline response than someone who is not a well-trained athlete. So, although Robert Thomas is an elite athlete, the same physical systems are at work in all of us. And Washington University physicians at Barnes Jewish Hospital help keep our systems operating at peak performance. And that is the science of St. Louis Blues hockey.